Good morning, girls. So you would have started this morning's lesson by creating a circle map on all what you already know about the tundra. Now we're going to look at a few more characteristics, plants and animals that make up the tundra. You would recognize this map from last week's lesson. It's a map showing all the biomes around the world. And specifically, we are looking at the tundra today, which is located in the most northern part of the world. Now, these are some of the characteristics that make up the tundra. If you look at this image, what types of plants and animals do you think could survive in this type of harsh environment? The tundra is one of the coldest biomes. It has an average winter temperature of minus 34 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine what this temperature would feel like? The average summer temperatures are between 3 and 12 degrees Celsius, which is still quite cold. There is very little precipitation. Annually, this biome receives between 15 and 25 centimeters, and this includes the melting snow. There is a lot of frost and desert-like landscape. The nutrients in the soil are poor, which makes for very short growing seasons. Now there are two types of tundras. We have the alpine tundra and the arctic tundra. Look carefully at these two images. What observable differences might you notice between the two types of the tundras? Take a moment and think to yourself. Now, we know the location of the tundra is in the northern part of the world. The Arctic tundra specifically. It's located in North America, Greenland, Europe and Asia. All the areas around the North Pole. Now, where might the alpine tundra be located? So the location of this tundra is further south from the Arctic tundra. It's dependent on the elevation of the land. Most are located on the world's greatest mountain ranges, such as the Andes, the Himalayas, the Alps, and the Pyrenees Mountains. So let's take a look at some of the vegetation we might find within the, these two types of tundras. Here we have the alpine tundra and the arctic tundra. What differences do you notice about the types of vegetation? The alpine plants grow at high elevation and some examples might be perennial grasses, cushion plants, sedges and forbs. Now let's look at the arctic tundra. The plants are small, they live close together and they are low to the ground and these all help them to survive in the types of harsh conditions that they experience. Some examples are mosses and lichens. Now I'd like you to take a moment and think about the types of animals that you might find in this biome. How would they have to adapt to live in this biome? These are some of the animals that you would expect to find in the tundra biome. What do they all have in common? Think about that for a moment. Thank you, girls. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is to go back to the circle map that you started at the beginning of this lesson, where you had to write down what you already know about the tundra. You're going to use a different color pen and add what you have learnt about the tundra biome through this presentation. Please make sure to include your frame of reference. What is a frame of reference? This is how do you know you're knowing? How do you know this? Please include as many examples as you have. For an example, you may have watched a documentary, read a book, maybe you've been to the tundra. Include all of these. 
If you can notice in the example that I've included, in the innermost circle is your main idea, which would be your tundra, and in the outer circle are all your examples, the things that define what the tundra is, and in the outermost square is your frame of reference. Thank you, girls.